Hey, Tim here, and welcome to this quick tip where I'm gonna show you how to make content pop off the page. So what do I mean by pop? Well, Tableau does this automatically. It's essentially a trick that uses contrast to help you focus in on a particular part of the sheet. So in this example, I have a, a bar chart showing uh, the countries and then the sales for each country ranked. When I hover over them, you can see that Tableau adds a very, very thin border around the bar. And that has the effect of helping you focus in on what you're doing and sort of focuses in, in on, on each of the bars. And it really helps with contrast. Now, if you were to zoom into one of these bars, you'd also notice there's probably also a much fainter sort of thin border going around. And that has the effect, again, of making the bars sit a bit above the page. Now, you can be more deliberate with this effect with bar charts by just simply going in and selecting black. And you can see straight away there that the bars are popping off the page a little bit. If I just go back, you can see it without, and you can see it with. You can literally feel the content popping off the page. Now, what I'm gonna do is make this effect a little bit more obvious by dropping the color down a little bit to 62%, so you can much easily see the sort of border. Then I'm gonna go to my example dashboard where this sheet has already been placed. Now, the thing is, this effect also works with layout. If you use this more generally in your layouts, it's much easier for the user to focus in on what you want them to see. So in this case, what I've done is I've put some layout containers. I've put in one at the top and one at the bottom. These essentially are just giving me some padding. In this middle one, which I'll show you now, I've put three things. A blank on the right, a blank on the left, and a sheet in the middle, which is actually inside its own layout container. So everything is balanced in an equilibrium here. Everything is nicely spaced out, and nothing is contesting for space. And the thing I want you to look at is in the middle. So you might think, well, that's my job done. Well, there's actually more you can do here, and it's very, very simple. First of all, start by selecting the layout container, surrounding the content that you want to focus in on. Having done that, go and format it, and then what you can do is you can change two things. You can either change the formatting of the layout container, so the color inside the layout container, or you can just change the border. So I'm gonna just change the border. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a slightly uh, off sort of gray. And when I click out, you can see that's had the desired effect, but I'm actually not done yet. See, this is popping out the page, but there's one last thing that's really fighting with the user here. And it's, it's a very, very subtle thing, but the whole background is using the color white, but the sheet is also using the color white. And so you can help the user focus in on where the background is and where the content is by changing one of those two colors. So in this case, if I change the background to a slightly off gray, then you can see the effect works straight away. Now the, ch the chart is front and center in the middle. However, how much hard I try, I can't help but look at the sheet in the middle. And if you have multiple things on a page, it can really help you very quickly notify where the key sections of the chart are. If I change it to a slightly darker shade of gray, the effect still works and it looks balanced. It looks very sort of well laid out. Now here at the top, you can see that the example sheet option has taken the same color as the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna format the title. And to play further with this effect, I'm actually gonna give it a slightly lighter shade of gray. So I'm giving contrast across the whole visualization. And in three or four clicks, I've just literally elevated this very, very simple visualization into something that looks beautiful. And so that's it. That's the quick tip for this week. Um, if you like it, please like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.